Hello audiophile. Today I will show you how to easily make a 4.4mm balanced headphone cable, step by step at home. Just do it yourself and get your own custom built balanced audio cable for any headphones. In this tutorial, I will also explain the main principles to follow when building balanced headphones cables. By watching this video, you will be able to easily make any type of balanced headphones cable. Whether it be a 2.5mm, 3.5mm, 4-pin XLR, or 4.4mm jack, you will be able to prepare any of these plugs for balanced headphones. Today's client is the popular Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pro Studio Class headphones, which previously had made a detachable cable mod. You can check out the previous video, to see how to make a detachable cable mod. But today I will show you how to easily and cheaply make a 4.4mm jack balanced headphone audio cable. To do this task, you will need to purchase a 4.4mm jack, which can be found on eBay, Amazon, and AliExpress. Links to the jack will be in the video description. Previously, these headphones were used with a 2.5mm balanced audio cable, but we will now change it to a 4.4mm jack. Additionally, to complete this task, you will need various soldering tools, and some heat shrink tubing. Before get to work, a brief simplified theory on what a balanced connection for headphones is. Regular, everyday stereo headphones are connected to a sound source with a 3.5mm or 6.35mm stereo jack, which has three contacts, or three wires, left, right, and a common ground wire. It looks something like this. But in the balanced version, a jack is used with four contacts, whether it is a 3.5mm 4-pole, 4-pin XLR, 2.5mm 4-pole, or 4.4mm 5-pole connector, they all have at least four contacts or wires. The main difference is, that in the balanced version, each speaker in the headphones is operated separately, there is no longer a common ground wire. However, in order to use a balanced cable, and a balanced headphone connection, you also need a real balanced headphone amplifier which will also provide more power, and lower total harmonic distortion, so you can enjoy music in better quality. I hope these paint pictures gave you an idea of what balanced headphones and balanced cables are. As you can see from these pictures, any, absolutely any headphones, can be modded into balanced headphones, simply by making a small modification to the headphones, to create separate ground wires. This was also done to these Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pro, when they had a detachable cable mod applied. When you have changed your headphones to balanced, you can then cut off the old jack. Then, by easily pressing and pull the cable from the headphone side, it will release the excess outer rubber jacket, and the headphone cable will last longer. As you can see, the extra rubber, which doesn't have wires inside was quite long. Then, carefully remove the outer jacket with a paper knife, being careful, not to damage the inner wires. Cut off the fabric wires, as they will only interfere the soldering. You can burn off the finer fabric wires. Then remove the insulation from all four wires, and tin the wires, which will make it easier to solder these wires more effectively. Then, with the help of a multimeter, or by looking inside the headphones, at the wire diagram, find out which wire colors are left plus, left minus, right plus, and right minus. This is essential, in order to make a correct balanced headphone cable. Then take the 4.4mm jack housing and put it on the cable. My cable is significantly smaller, and I don't want to add many heat shrink tubings to make it bigger, so I found a metal spiral from an old 3.5mm jack in the toolbox, which I will use to improve this jack. Then put the jack housing and metal spiral on the cable. Cut a small piece of heat shrink tubing and use pliers to stretch it out, and put it on the cable. Then tin all the jack contacts, which will make it easier to solder, and create a more effective contact. Then solder the wires according to the 4.4mm jack balanced connection wiring. If you are using a 2.5mm or 3.5mm 4-pole jack, there is a different wiring, so, always check the wiring for the specific jack. Before soldering the wires, cut each wire to the appropriate length for the contact it will be soldered to. Once the first wire is soldered, press the cable with a metal clamp. Solder the remaining wires to the jack contacts. Then cover all the contacts with nail polish, to protect against short circuits. Then put a plastic sleeve over the top, to prevent short circuits with the metal housing. Then apply super glue to the place where the wire is attached to the jack, put heat shrink tubing on top for additional cable fixation. Then put the metal spiral on top, heat shrink tubing. 
Apply super glue to the metal spiral and put heat shrink tubing on top. Then apply super glue on top again and tightly screw the jack housing into place. Here is the result. I like how the metal spiral looks, it will also help the cable last longer. Before connect headphones to amplifier, make sure the wires are properly connected to the corresponding contacts. And that's it, you now have a fully functioning 4.4mm jack balanced headphone audio cable. I hope this tutorial was helpful, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section. I'd be extra happy, if you hit the like and subscribe buttons for this video. Have a nice holiday.